Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can model in the fastest way possible a 3D industrial ladder in Fusion 360. So, let's get started. Before every single drawing, the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, let's go here to document settings and let's change the units from millimeter to centimeter. So let's go to centimeter, press OK, and now we are ready to go. Let's start through a new component. So we'll go here, new component, and we'll name it, why not, industrial ladder, and then press enter. We will start through a new sketch. So go to the create sketch, select this plan, but pay attention, we will switch and we will use not the front plan, we will use actually the back plan. Here we'll start a rectangle, press the air letter, and start from here. The first dimension that we will have is 14, tab 12. Double click on the mouse wheel and we should do three offsets. So first of all, select this line, offset and write one or minus one in our case. Then we must do the same with the other one as well. So minus one and here select this one, minus four for this time. To create some radiuses, let's go to the fillet, select these two lines, for example, write the radius 1.25 and it will be the same. So click again also on those two lines and press enter. Now your profile is ready to go. Finish the sketch, home button and create a new sketch. But for this time we will use this plan. From the highest point here we will construct a line. So press the L letter, we will create a line a line of 120 centimeters. Double click on the mouse wheel again and from this end point we will construct actually another line. So press L again and it will be a line of 460 centimeters. Press the tab key and now when it comes to angle we need an angle of 137 degrees and it should look like this. By the way you can also delete that line too. After that we will use the offset command again. So the offset command write 25 centimeters, ok. This is the first one. The second one maybe as you guessed it it will be 50 centimeters and the last one 75. I will move these dimensions just to see better. Ok. Now I will construct here two lines. Line again. It doesn't matter where you start, it matters where it ends. So here it ends and again the same line. Now I will use the sketch dimension command, so press the D letter. From this point until here we need to have 7 centimeters and it is the same for the other side as well. So 7 centimeters. Press the T letter, use the trim command and delete those lines. Here we need to construct a new line. So press the L letter, it doesn't matter where it is, but press the D letter, sketch dimension, because between that line and this point we need to have again 7 centimeters. Line again and you must find the midpoint here. Yeah, this triangle. Okay, create a new line and you should extend it. So create another one to have like a boundary where to stop. Go to the extend and you just extend it. You can delete that line, trim this part and that part and now you can trim also these three lines and you are ready to go now. Press the finish sketch and now let's focus on sweep command. Profile, this one it will be, the path, you guessed it, this one and it should look like this. If you are fine press OK and now let's have a sketch here. So zoom in, select this area, right click and go to the create sketch. In order to find it more easily press the P letter, select this plan, OK and now let's create a new rectangle starting from this point. Extrude this part and that part as well until you reach the other surface and then press OK and it should look like this. 
After that, we need to construct the railing. So in order to do that, I will go here to sketches, I make sketch to visible again, and I will go to pipe command. Select the first one, OK. Section, it will be circular, section size 4 centimeters. The operation will be new body, and then press OK. The same thing we must do it for the others as well. Pipe, OK, select this one, new body, and the operation will repeat another two times, actually three times. And here it is. Now to get rid of these parts, first of all, we need to move our railing. So select all the bodies except of the first one and press move command, M letter. Select the bodies now. Okay. And now I will drag it in this direction with six centimeters just to be here exactly in the middle. After that, I need to construct a new plane. So I'll go to offset plane, I will select this surface, but I don't want to move it because I want a plane here. And I press OK and I have a plane pasted on this area. After that, I will use the split body. So first of all, I will uncheck the extend splitting tool, body to split, this one it will be actually, and this one too. Splitting tool, of course, it will be our plane and then press OK. I will make our plane invisible and I start to delete what I have. For example, this piece. Body 7, I will remove it. I will do the same also with this one, with body 4. But on the other hand, here I need to combine them because of the extension from this area. So I will go to for the opposite command, combine this body and that one and I will press OK and now I have again one single body. After that I will focus on the stairs. So right click on this area, create again a new sketch and let's use the project command to find this point. Air letter again, we'll start a rectangle, a rectangle with the dimensions 12, tab 16. From this point, we need to construct another one. So again, rectangle, two point rectangle actually. First dimension, 7.5, tab 24. Here, I will use the chamfer command. So I'll go to chamfer, equal distance, select those two and I'll write three centimeters. On the other hand, I'll use the opposite command for chamfer, I mean fillet. And I will add here a radius of 1. For those lines and this arch, I will use the offset command with 1 centimeter inside. Now I already have the shape, as you see. Finish the sketch, and now let's start to extrude. We will extrude for three times. The first one. Select these three profiles. Pay attention. OK. And now I will extrude with 95 centimeters. The operation will be a new body and then press OK. Now I want to get rid of the body one, but I will make it invisible, OK, and the sketch number four, I will make it visible. So extrude this one, this one and this one, OK, and I will extrude only with one centimeter and the operation will be join because I want to be the same object and then press OK. As you see, now I have one single object but I want the same part to be also in the other side as well. So I will extrude one more time, select those profiles, OK. And now I will go here, offset, offset it with 94 centimeters. And the distance, of course, it will be the same one, as you see. The operation join, OK. Everything is all right. Now you can make the sketch 4 invisible. For the next part, I will show you how you can multiply the stairs. So, in order to do that in the simplest and fastest way possible by far, it will be on pattern, pattern on path actually. I will select first of all my body, this one it is, and the path 
the path it is this sharp edge. I will drag the arrow, okay, and right here quantity 15, and the distance it will be 440. And look like that. It is exactly what I want. I will create a new sketch here. So right click, create sketch, and I will construct another rectangle. P letter again for project, rectangle, from one point to the other, but I can also write the distances. So I have one centimeter tab, 120 centimeter, and then press OK. Extrude, select this area, OK, and extrude it with, you guessed it, 95 centimeters again. The operation will be not be joined, will be a new body. OK. After that, I'll make again the body one invisible because I need to construct a new plane. So you can select every single stair that you want or of course this platform. I'll go here to mid plane and I will select a surface and the other surface as well. The program now will generate a plane which is exactly in the middle between those two surfaces. I'm fine with this decision, I will press OK. And now I will apply the mirror command. I will select the body one, of course, and all these railings. Mirror plane, this one it will be. New body, I'm fine, press OK. And now make the plane two invisible. And for the last part, we will add some material. So press the E letter and I'll write here yellow metal. And look like that. Our industrial ladder is done. I hope this video helped you learn more about the program and don't hesitate to collaborate with me. Any service is just a click away. And if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.